cask or calcium calmodulin activated serine 3 on 9 kinase. Calmodulin kinase domain of cask has a typical kinase domain with N lobe and cyan and C lobe and blue. Cask N lobe and cyan and C lobe and blue take an active closed conformation. Cam K1 in its inactive open conformation is shown for comparison. Cask catalytic loop in red is optimally positioned for catalysis. Cask activation loop in red is ordered in an active conformation and cradled within the C lobe in blue. Aspartic acid of the magnesium ion binding loop in red and asparagin of the catalytic loop in yellow are missing for cask. As a result, Magnesium ion does not bind to the AMPPMP and beta and gamma phosphates are disordered. Cask does not require magnesium for kinase activity. Cask phosphorylates such substrate neuroxin, which binds to the cask PDZ domain. A complex of cask KMK domain in cyan and blue and liprin alpha SAM domains complex in green. Three Lipern FISAM domains, one in red, two in yellow and three in green are arranged in a head-to-tail manner. Lipern Alpha SAM domain one in red, two in yellow extensively contact with the bottom of the cam KC lobe in blue. An unique insertion in magenta between Lipran Alpha SAM domain 1 in red, 2 in yellow wraps around the backside of the catalytic cleft of cask cam KC low in blue. A connecting helix in magenta between Lipran Alpha SAM domain 2 in yellow and 3 in green stabilizes the interaction between the two SAM domains. Cask Cam K domain N lobe and cyan and C lobe in blue of Lipran Alpha complex is in an open inactive conformation, similar to Cam K1 structure shown for comparison. Lipran Alpha Lipran Beta SAM domains form a heterodimer. Lipran Alpha SAM1 in red and Lipran Beta SAM3 in light green interact in a head to tail manner.
Lipern alpha alpha and helix and magenta and lipern beta alpha C helix and light magenta are unique structure for each subtype. The heterodimerization allows the ternary complex formation between lipern alpha in green, lipern beta in yellow and cask in blue.